what's interesting, you know, is how you get in on it. Last year, you were kind of looking like a kid, mm -hmm. and now you're more of a, <coughs> a grown up. <laughs> yeah, it's it's bizarre. I've definitely grown on uh, grown up a lot since I started filming the Good Wife. But uh, it, it's funny. You're not the first person to say that you've seen that. You know. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean. But it's good. It's good because you're getting more and more lines, and you you really actually can now show us what kind of actor you are. Yeah. No. It, it's uh, it's always funny. I feel like this is the same with all TV shows. The first couple of years, everyone's trying to figure out exactly what kind of character they're playing. I mean, you have a decent idea, but you never know what the writers are going to throw at you. So, you know, I never would have thought that my character when I started would have like you know more girlfriends than anyone in the show. <laughs> but, but he did. <laughs> And so that, that tells me a little bit about my character, because when I first read the script, it seemed like he was, you know, sort of, uh, like, really into his computers and technology. Yeah, and he, yeah, he's, yeah he's, he's a nerd. <laughs> exactly. Um, a nerd with a kind heart and, yeah. you know, a mischievous side, I guess. Um, but now that we're in season three, I know that he has, you know, this, this darker side, and this he might have some political ambition when he grows up. Yeah. And, and it's fun, because... Every episode that the writers sent me, I got to, I got more insight into what my character was, and that's always fun. Yeah, it is. It's like Christmas. Every time you get the email with the new script, you know, you rush through it and see. So, if you had to uh, to give a piece of advice to a young actor or actress, well, I should say actor anyway, because that's what we should say. <laughs> but uh, what would it be? Because when you're very young, you may want to do something. But it might not be your calling. Yeah, I mean, when I started acting and singing, I had no idea that it could be a career choice for me. I just did it because I loved it. And, um, you know, I, I'd say my advice to anyone who is even considering doing, doing it as a career, just, just go out and do it, no matter what, you know, whether it's a professional environment or whether it's, you know, just with friends. I mean, I, I still do a lot of my favorite work with just buddies will get together and you know like make make short films and uh, I do that with my family too um, and uh, just making funny songs with my friends and that's in the end that's almost what I have the most fun doing anyway so I'd say you know when you start out on a very small local level you can learn so much more than skipping right to um, a professional world because it can just be so overwhelming and you you can lose track of why you got into it to begin with I'm Graham Phillips, and check out LATeenFestival.com. I'm Graham Phillips, and check out LATeenFestival.com.